Oh man, working those quads. Constant, like constant crouch. crouch. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, it's a yeah, Michael Bay like, movie. Yeah, exactly. It may just blow the entire place up. What right. is the immersive? Mo oh, look at those nods, man. Those are some expensive boys. Little dual tubes or quad tubes. Pardon my friend. So no HUD, no score, no anything like that. Well, so it's right, not so a run and run. Stakes are pretty high. You yeah. can get one shot, kill. And I'm getting Metal Gear Solid vibes. This is looking good. Look at that. Look child. at that. That's cool. Little bird. That's pretty cool. That blends in with the, a cloudy day. I know. And look, quad he's nons. got yeah, quad nons. You know, the more tubes you have, the more elite soldier you are. That's what Absolutely. I heard. Hey, man, you got good panoramic view in that thing. It's weird. You have quad nods, but you just have what looks like a CCO on your gun, which is like the most basic optic that you can get in the army. They give it to you in basic training. I like the coordination and the communication. Obviously, if you're one shot, one kill, you got to take your time, you know. Yeah. You this looks like an old like World War II bunker. Good communication. The only thing with that laser on is it looks like they might be able to see Yeah, it's you a visible like laser, that, you know? so like if you're just pointing up there, you're kind of giving away your position. There you go. Oh, nope, still on. Really good detail and everything. I don't know when this game came out, but it looks pretty pretty updated. The third person's cool because I do love looking at the, my gear and kit and everything. And I wonder if that, besides the gun, are also customizable. Mm. I would assume so. Yep, I'm on your six. I'm on your six. Nice. All the There's one thing that I've always appreciated you know, working on a team uh, at an elite level, working very closely with other guys, is the shorthand communication that you come up with, the SOPs. It makes communication very quick and very efficient. I've yeah. always really appreciated that. Zoom up there, bro. Yeah, it's, you know, he's already got a beat on you if you're going around that corner. Too. Yeah, that gun should be way up, way fast. Drop your nods, open doors, and immediate threat. He's going really slow and controlled. Looks like he's always at the high ready, though. <laughs> yeah, that would, in real life, your arms would be smoked yeah. if you were just Those front at belts. high ready most of the time. I mean, in third person, he's not really on his gun, like looking through his optic. He's right there over the top, which is how you should be doing right, it. Right, right. I just don't like how that laser's on all the time. <laughs> oh, man, working those quads. Constant that constant crouch. crouch. <laughs> Switching to night. I like that. Nice. That was a close he shot. Hit, that's a double indignity. Did he pistol him and shoot him in the head? Yeah. Good teamwork. Slow control. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Exactly. Damn. Get a little uh, more accurate there. Even well, the jig's just, up. Yeah, right. You've lost your element of surprise at this point. They know something's yeah. coming. Pressers only really stamp in the noise, and you got to think about you're sending a projectile at supersonic speeds. The sound of that hitting a brick wall or something is going to make a noise. Yeah. A pretty substantial noise. You're not going to get the huge effect of the bang, but you will. Especially when a bullet is coming your way, it makes a very distinct cracking sound. Right. It sounds like a whip being snapped when it crosses pretty close to you. Two guys, an entire compound. Sounds like Ghost Recon. That sounds like a video game. <laughs> But that's okay. I love the the graphics are cool. I love the equipment that's on these. Yeah, dudes. it's looking good. I love that. I mean, I'm, the detail on all the equipment. I'm seeing like the you know the the Peltors on the side attached with the helmet attachment. You get the quad dodge. You get the battery package back, which is which is cool. Flashbang. Yeah, flashbang. That was a little far. Usually when you're throwing. It's a television flash. studio. He got hit, but he's good. He's good. Oh, okay. He got hit a little bit. Oh, uh, okay. So you can heal yourself in this you mode. You can heal yourself. Position heal thyself. Back Looks like a up. team room. All the equipment hanging out. Back yeah, you can like hide bodies and stuff in this too. The open world format seems like something I can get into. In yeah, it's super cool. I mean, there's endless possibilities. You just do what you want to do. Right, yeah. And if it's within your capabilities, why not? We're coming in front. Playing this kind of game, kind of open world when it's tactical, I will always That's choose cool. the, the stealth version over the assault version. Yeah. Well, if I mean, unless I mess up, in which case I just run and I mean, this is cool. I mean, they're still getting into a little bit of firefights in here, so yep. I appreciate that. This seems like a cool game, man. You got a whole island. This thing is like, it's like huge. The area where you can play in. And I didn't know you could play in multiplayer. That's kind of cool. It's very interesting how it goes from first person to third person really quick when you ADS. This has a first and a third person option. Are you a fan of first, fan of third? I feel like for me, third person gives you just a wider field of vision. Yeah. You know, you can kind of see next to your guy behind him a little bit, you know, or first person I think feels a little restrictive. You think so? Yeah. To me, it does. Yeah, I mean, I like playing. I've said this in numerous videos, but Gears of War was awesome. Now it's all third person. The aspect of seeing the character move, seeing how they utilize their stuff. I don't know, just like you said, give you a larger field of view. Mm. I think it's a it's a different gaming experience for sure. Yeah. Well, we come from behind. Their the French video. accents are much better than mine. Yeah, I know. Vive la France!
You know, that's one thing in games like this, man, not knowing where you're getting hit from. No, no, and they just die. Yeah. And you're like, okay, well, that was pathetic. I like the no HUD. I like no, no, like, numbers or compass things and stuff like that. Copy. Trust your senses. Make sure you keep track of your surroundings. What pathway you're taking, you gotta get back out again. I like that. Yeah. No little, like, Metal Gear Solid radar thing where you get the blips and the guys walking around. Smoke that, dude. Ah, uh, now it's a Call of Duty game. <laughs> now it's a yeah, Michael like, Bay movie. Yeah, exactly. Mate, just blow the entire place up. Yeah, he just said, we're blowing it <laughs> in pieces. I don't know, man. I, I just see myself gravitating more of a jungle guy. What about you? <laughs> Probably desert. I'm just personally fond of the desert. I feel like I got a lot of desert experience with NT, you know, NTC out in Fort Irwin and over in Iraq and stuff. I, yeah, I've always been partial to it. I don't mind the hot weather and stuff. And I will say this, I'm fighting any environment, okay? That's right, yeah. Anywhere, we'll bring the fight to you. You better watch out, uh, Eskimos.